Collaborative Center of Mental Health was founded in 2001, some 20 years ago. And it's a collaboration between Tilburg University and two big mental health institutes, GGZ Breburg and GGZ Eindhoven. Um, I myself work as a science practitioner within this collaborative mental health uh, center. Um, and besides that, I work as a clinician, a psychotherapist and the head of departments in, uh, of two departments in GGZ Breburg. I'm fascinated about uh, the question how to adapt psychotherapeutic treatments for older adults. The vast majority of our knowledge concerns younger people. And there's some knowledge about anxiety and depression disorders, but very little is known about, um, for instance, personality disorders, autism, somatic symptom disorders. These are, uh, there's a world to discover there. Yeah, the research concerns, uh, well, the first step in research is doing, uh, trying, is, is doing feasibility studies, just trying out new, uh, new treatments that we've devised. Next step uh, is uh, bigger trials, for instance, uh, a randomized controlled trial on nursing interventions for personality disordered older people and how to uh, cope with them. Um, but also some, some other designs like multiple baseline designs into schema therapy for older people. In, in this kind of design, we compare patients with themselves, so we don't need a large control group. The research uh, I conduct uh, are into adapting psychotherapeutic treatments for older people and it concerns uh, small trials like feasibility trials, trying to find out whether a uh, specific treatment works in older people, for instance with personality disorders. But there are also uh, larger trials like a randomized control trial for nursing interventions um, designed to help nurses cope better with uh, behavioral problems uh, in older people with personality disorders. Another type of design is multiple baseline design. It's um, designed to compare uh, patients with themselves, so you don't need a control, large control group, compensates for the heterogeneity of older people. I'm an endowed professor of community mental health, and I also have a position at the Netherlands Institute of Mental Health and Addiction. It's in the Netherlands, it's called the Trimmels Institute. And my main focus is on people with uh, severe mental illness and their well-being and the care they get in the Netherlands or abroad. In my research, my main focus is on the Netherlands, uh, on research on the system, on the services, on the lives people live. Uh, but we do also research in Eastern Europe uh, and it's focused on disseminating and studying the effectiveness of community mental health teams. Because what we do in the Netherlands is also of interest for Eastern Europe, so we are disseminating our knowledge to Eastern Europe. I'm a senior researcher, I study antisocial uh, behavior. And in GGZ West North Brabant, it's a large mental health institute. I work as a clinician, also uh, working with uh, antisocial personality disorder. Well, I'm very much interested in, in antisocial behavior and why some people are reluctant to adjust themselves to social rules and why some people are not responsive to the feelings and, and emotions of other people. And what we uh, want to discover is what kind of mechanisms and what kind of processes are behind that uh, behavior. And we do that uh, by the means of uh, virtual reality worlds. We expose them to different social situations to learn how they behave in that way. But we do also qualitative research and uh, about the therapeutic relationship between uh, therapists and, uh, and antisocial patients to see what happens and how we can improve uh, uh, therapies for that, this group. I uh, work at the Academics Collaborative Center of Mental Health at Transo for almost 20 years now. Uh, at the moment I'm a senior researcher in this, uh, in this center. And I'm also affiliated at Quintus, which is a supported housing organization. And there I work as, a, as head of research. In my research, we focus on uh, the disruptive effects of having a severe mental illness, especially when it, uh, it is a long lasting uh, problem. Uh, it affects all kinds of different life domains. It in involves your, your, your social life, but also your, your work and your roles. 
uh, and most important, your self-image. And what we do in our research is focusing on how can we su support these people in their recovery on these areas. In our research program, we work together, for instance, with mental health uh, psychologists uh, to work further on interventions and strengthen them. Uh, for instance, we, we make intervention descriptions uh, and we can use qualitative research methods to, to do that. Uh, but we also, for instance, perform uh, randomized controlled trials to try to build on the, the, the evidence base of uh, specific interventions we already have.